All right, Mark here from the Deering team and the Adventures with Remax page. We are going to do another gear review and potential slight installation. And what we've got today in front of us is a Garmin Tread GPS unit. This is the ultimate off-road unit for GPS for your side-by-sides, for your UTVs. We're gonna do a quick unboxing and give you some of the basics and tell you what the thing's capable of and then probably follow up with the video uh, once we start putting it to use. The question is, is did this thing just revolutionize your off-road experience? Uh, we have had some issues with some other units with communicating and we think this might be the answer and or this might um, partner well with some of our other systems that we're already using but we're going to unbox this thing, see what it's all about, do some testing and tuning and uh, see if it's all what it's cracked up to be. Okay, before we get tearing into these boxes I wanted to kind of let you know that we've got the actual head unit which is the GPS and it comes with the fist mic. And then also, there is an antenna in here, but I did opt for the long range antenna. We plan on doing some stuff in uh, Utah, Moab, and different, uh, different areas where we might be spread out a little bit further. So for an extra 100 bucks, just over 100 bucks, I've got the long range extended antenna. All right, let's see what's in the box. Right off the bat, they leave no room for imagination. They jump right into showing you the unit here. And it looks like it's got a little fake screen on it. Show you what it's like when you're uh, chasing your buddies, get your buddies on the trail, their names. Uh, it's gonna be one of the ways you can use it. I do believe this is a trim piece. This blue section is a trim piece and there's gonna be other trim options uh, within the box in case you have a different color unit, but this blue might look good on mine anyway, and I, I hope there's a red, maybe there's some other cool colors, but uh, they did some really cool thinking um, and uh, allowed you to you know, customize it a little bit, because you will see the back of this uh, from your windshield. While I've got this here, um, let's flip it over again one more time. Uh, looks like we've got a couple spots here, that's what we got. Looks like this is gonna be a charging port, USB charging. Looks like we're going to have a spot for an SD card. I do have mapping systems um, that I'm gonna, my own maps from uh, VV Mapping, a local uh, mapper here in Michigan. I'm gonna put that um, SD card in there. Looks like our cat Clara came out to say hi. <laughs> this is gonna be a power button. And then the unit's gonna slide right into here, I believe. Underneath this uh, first section, there we go. Like I said, you've got all kinds of colors. Uh, you've got your red, you've got your green, let's call it lime green and black. Well, that's kind of fun. Just like a phone case, uh, something like that, you can customize it to your liking. Under that, we jump into, this is just gonna be all of your connection types. Uh, this is going to be how you connect it to your battery and run power up through your, um, it depends on which way you, you wire it, but you can go through your tubes, you know, go through your frame, however you'd like, but this is going to be your power, power strip, power cord, I should say. Okay, it looks like they give you a RAM mount connection here. Uh, this is, if you're not familiar with RAM mount, they use this ball style system. Uh, and there's a clasp here that you can put that ball in there and then I'm assuming there's gonna be another attachment that you can actually attach to the GPS. But this looks like a RAM mount connection. We'll see if this is the main connection or if this is just an alternative. I believe what we have here is part of the group communication um, antenna. This is a separate piece that you can buy and have other Garmin GPS's used for the communication part where your antenna can be put in and then you've got your different ways to hook it up to your uh, GPS itself. But this one, the Garmin Tread, comes with this and then this is gonna mount, I believe, on the back of the GPS unit itself and then this is gonna allow you to communicate with 
up to 20 different riders, up to 20 different riders, which is pretty cool. Um, I believe you put, you can, like I say, mount this on the back, and then you're gonna have that antenna, the stock antenna that you can put right out the top here, and it's a shorter one. Uh, it's probably in here, right here. The shorter one here, you can mount it right off the top there. That's gonna get you, you know, half mile range, um, you know, a lot shorter distance. Um, what I'm gonna do is hook up that extender cable out of here to this long range one, the long range antenna, and then hopefully get, you know, two to eight miles, they say, two to eight miles of uh, reception, depending if it's open desert or what it is. But this is the group communication piece. This looks like it's gonna be the fist mic, sure enough. Looks like a little spot that you can bolt, screw down to your side-by-side, uh, -side, and then that's gonna be where you can hang it. So you got the metal, it's nice that it's metal, it's not plastic so it won't break. This is plastic, I think. Um, so you're gonna be able to uh, hook that on there, find a spot that works in your side-by-side -side to, to plug this on there and, and get it out of the way. This does feel quality, uh, which is pretty nice. It looks like you might have volume up and down, or maybe that's channel up and down, we'll see. But that is the fist mic. The rest of the box on the bottom is just your instructions. Um, so we'll throw those away, just kidding. Um, that's your instructions. I better read these, I wanna learn it. See if we can get this unit to work to its peak performance. And a few zip ties, they throw some zip ties in for you. Garmin always does a great job with uh, their, their presentation. Um, great information on the back. I'll let you guys check that out a minute. Uh, there's some, it's a 5.5 inch screen display. It is water, the water rating, um, I forget what the IPX7 actually means, I did look it up, but it's pretty darn um, dust and water resistant. This thing's obviously gonna be out in some rugged weather. I don't think that they can actually fully say waterproof. This is a rating, definitely look it up, IPX7. But from what I remember reading, it's gonna withhold, you know, getting sprayed with the hose, getting sprayed with water as you're flying down the trail, all that type of stuff. It just might not be able to be submersed or high pressure, I think. While we're here and while we're in the inboxing mode, this might not be as fun, it's just an antenna. But let's open it up. This is that long range antenna. And guess what? That's what it looks like, an antenna. I will be curious on... Oh, it does have a nice heavy duty spring here. That's gonna be nice. So getting in and out of my trailer right now, I have an antenna that uh, is really thin so I can go in and out of my enclosed trailer and it's not that big a deal. This heavy duty spring is gonna be nice for, um, cause obviously, you, you would want your antenna above your roof line, I would suggest and I would think. Um, so this is gonna help with that. I'm gonna have to really decide where I want this mounted so um, it doesn't become an issue. Okay, so just while I've got the camera right here and I'm still sitting down and I got the directions out, um, wanted to kind of look this over with you real quick. Um, obviously it shows the unit just like this here and then it shows that it pops in. Uh, this is a cap. Uh, all this is here is a cap. Um, it's not a wire. While it was plugged up, it plugged in, it kind of looked like a wire, so I'm like, that's weird. But it's not. Uh, and then you just, uh, I'm going to start down there on the bottom. Let's see if you can see this. You start down on the bottom and then just um, push forward, and it's, and it's on. Super solid. To take it off, take it off, you just push here and it's gonna come off. Take it with you inside when you go into the restaurant or into the house, whatever. Um, but yeah, seems to be pretty rigid, pretty good setup. Um, as you know, these units shake, rattle, and roll all over. Um, I've got another thing that I purchased that I'll show you here on another video to help with my cell phone, because I'm sick of picking up my cell phone off the ground as we're flying down the trail. Um, this as well with the RAM mount. 
Um, I believe they're calling this still a Ram mount unless Garmin has its own version of it. But once you put this in its locking mechanism um, and set it up, it's gonna have it's gonna be real, real sturdy. Everything feels everything feels real sturdy. While I've got the camera in the same location, this is going to connect here. I can show you real quick, kind of no-brainer stuff, but this is going to slide in here like so. And you're going to loosen this further so that this unit can slide in here. Loosen that a little more. And you're going to be tough to do here with one hand, but check that out. I did it. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, you're going to tightly put this around your frame, your roll cage, and then this unit here is what's going to allow you to adjust the pitch and what it looks like in, in the direction of it. Um, and then like I showed you before, then this just slides on like so. Eh, made it look easier with the time before. Just give it a nice push in and it kind of clicks. Something we gotta get used to. There we go. There's a nice click. So, there's what it'll look like. Okay, before we get too far into this, I thought it'd be worth showing you. This is my RAM mount that I had before. And I did run a, um, this is a Garmin as well. I have to look up the model on it, but it was pretty good size. Um, this was the Garmin uh, GPS that I would run, and I liked it up here um, out of my line of sight. So when I was driving, you just glance up, see where we're going. Worth, worth mentioning, worth looking at. Uh, this is the new one. This is the Garmin Tread. This is my other one. This is 5.5 inches. Don't have the dimensions in that one right with me. I want to say seven, seven inches. So it is going to be a little bit smaller than I, I had, but I'll tell you what, it's going to have a lot more features and who knows, maybe just a tad bit smaller is going to work out anyways for getting it out of the line of sight. So a lot of the videos you'll see uh, from Polaris, they have them down here in this area, right off this tube, and it's not a bad area. Uh, I'm going to have to decide here very shortly if I like that or I could use my existing RAM mount setup and get it up here nice and high out of my way here. So let's check it out. Just to show you how uni universal RAM mounts can be, this is one of those balls and then I just pulled this out of this section so um, I can reconnect the Garmin right in there. And I bought this piece separate online. Uh, this one is one of the ones that has the most function. I can spin it, turn it, you know, put it in a bunch of different directions. All right, so now I'm actually inside the unit here, and I don't know, it's not bad. It's, uh, I might put it up here where I had my other one. The only thing is I gotta figure out how important a lot of these wires are and if I can get them out of my way or not. I don't know, there's something to be said about being able to be, you know, flying down the trail and uh, just glance up glance up where you're at but I don't know let's check it out the other spot all right not to bore you with uh, different placements um, but I did go ahead and use the stock mount um, put it up here on the top tube and I am using the short um, the short arm that they give you and I kind of like it uh, it's out of this view you know in case you're coming up to some ruts coming up to some logs ruts whatever I kind of liked it there at first with they do a lot of the videos um, on the Garmin channel, but I like having that open and being able to see my whole front view. And then when I want to see what's going on, where I'm heading or where my buddies are, whoop, just look up a little bit. I think I like that. So anyways, personal preference, mess around with it, see what you like. Now for the super important things, um, do I want the blue? Kind of go with this blue, doesn't really match. Or I've got my lime green or black or red. I'm gonna go with the red. Red will match a little better. And I'm getting some uh, red four point harnesses. So I'm going with the red. Okay, 
We are gonna download the Tread app, which is right here. And we're gonna install. All right, now we're gonna open. Because I quickly read everything, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Pairing your Garmin device. So, to pair, we'll need to turn on. So I'm gonna go over to the unit and start doing some of this. All right, the power cable is uh, pretty self-explanatory. This side here is gonna go behind the unit itself. And then it comes with your positive and negative uh, right here. And then it comes with these little guys that you gotta crimp on, so. Okay, since your power has this big guy here, uh, you're not going to be able to, you want to fish it backwards, so you're going to want to take your end that's going to go to your unit and follow some of the same stuff that goes up the other direction up your tube. Alright, I'm only recording this in case it works. I made my own little gadget zip tie around the neck there and then just uh, a long zip tie like this to try to feed up through the tube here. See my zip tie coming through? Let's try this here. That worked, boys and girls. Okay, now that the power is hooked up to the back of the unit, got the wire going down, I'll zip tie all this in once I'm comfortable with the length and everything. Now you're gonna hook up the power to the accessory side of this. So that when it's the accessories are on, there is power, power to the GPS unit. All right, I got it kind of, kind of set up here. Uh, I got that box, you know, it's where it won't move, and it's semi-clean. Leave in the comments if you guys. I know there's some uh, options for cleaning up this rat's nest. Um, I've seen a couple different people talk about it. I think so. I'm going to talk to one of my electrician buddies or. One of my razor guys, um, and see if I can't get all this cleaned up. Obviously, I'm gonna cut the zip ties here. And all right, moment of truth. Hopefully, nothing starts smoking. Oh, so far so good. And USA, good old English. Accept all. Connect to that. Use the app. So now back to this here on my phone. And it's saying pairing device, continue. Um, use while in the app. So it's finding the unit. It's asking if I want to pair with that unit. I'm going to say yes, pair. And I'm going to say yes, pair. And now it's asking if I want to start a Garmin account. I already have one, so I'm just going to hit sign in. I think I already have one. Um, I do have uh, Garmin devices for cycling. I'm not sure if it's the same account or not. So um, I'm going to put the Phone down a minute and see if it's the same one or not. All right, I missed a few steps for you that are kind of cool and you're not gonna be able to see with this glare anyway. But I'm um, setting up the, that it's a side-by-side -side and it's asking me the width. Um, pretty cool. Let's 
see what else I can do. I can rename this profile. Let's call it uh, Razor. Let's do it in caps. All right, so I'm not going to try doing this glare and take you through all the menus, um, but uh, I'm going to mess around with it. Uh, so far, so good. Hey, one pro tip, guys, while I'm uh, shutting this thing down. Instead of sitting out here with the accessories on and the razor, I'm going to use that back port, that USB um, back port, and I'm going to go in the house. And Because I went to do an update, and it said, um, basically it said two and a half hours. Uh, worth an up uh, worth of updates, so I'm not gonna try doing that on the uh, razor battery here uh, So I'm gonna go inside plug it into the USB and uh, hook it up to the Wi-Fi and do all the updates